boys and girls, how are you all? It's Lucy here. I am so excited that I get to come and speak to you guys today and just to check in on how you all are doing. I don't know about you, but see today, I am so tired. I could literally just go to sleep right here. Do you want me to tell you why? So, last night, I was a wee bit silly and I stayed up quite a bit past my bedtime. So this morning, all I wanted to do was to have a big long lion to sleep really, really late and to have some peace and quiet. But boys and girls, that didn't happen. I woke up to the sound of some music. It sounded just like louder and louder and louder and I could hear people singing and then I realised it was my sister. She had woken up really early and she was having a sing along to High School Musical. Now don't get me wrong, I love High School Musical and I love having a sing along to the movie but all I wanted was some peace and quiet and all I could hear was her singing. But that, that was okay. She is down the hall from me in her bedroom, so I was able to sort of put the covers over and, and not really listen. So I tried to go back to sleep. But then I heard another noise. This is what it sounded like. I realized that it was my mommy. She had also gotten up really early and she decided that she was going to clean the kitchen cupboards. So she was taking all the plates out, putting all the plates back in, filling the dishwasher, emptying the dishwasher, just making loads of noise. So I thought, right, well, the kitchen's all the way at the other end of the house. So I got up and I shut my door to try and keep the noise out. And I got back into bed to try and go to sleep. But then I heard another noise. This is what it sounded like. Yeah. And this. Hi, noisy. I listened and I listened. And then I realized that it was my stepdad. And what he had decided to do this morning was take all the tiles off the bathroom walls and the bathroom is right next to my bedroom. I was so annoyed so I tried to put my hands over my ears and tried to block out all the noise and tried to go back to sleep but it didn't work. I heard another noise. This is what it sounded like. Yes, I'm sure you know exactly what that noise is. That noise was not my one dog, but my two dogs. And they had heard a car go past my house. So they were barking and barking and barking and going crazy at the front door. I couldn't take it anymore. I was so annoyed. All I wanted to do was have a nice way sleep and have some peace and quiet. But living in this house with all these people, I couldn't do that. But then I got to thinking, and it reminded me of a story that I heard in the Bible. And it's a story about a man called Noah. And I'm sure that you've heard the story of Noah and the ark plenty of times. You remember, don't you? God told Noah to build a boat to protect him from the storm that God had to send for the whole earth. So Noah had to pack up his family and get on this boat. And he didn't just take two dogs like I have in my house. He took two giraffes, two elephants, two monkeys, two rhinos, two lions, two of every animal in the entire world. Now, I was complaining about how noisy my two dogs were. Can you imagine how noisy it was in that boat? 
Oh my goodness. And not only noisy, can you imagine how smelly it was? Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh no. And I'm sure that Noah's family probably felt really stressed as well. They probably didn't get on all the time. They were probably annoyed having to be in the same space every single day. And I'm sure that Noah felt a bit scared. I'm sure that he was sad and he was confused and he probably felt a bit lonely being on this boat for so long. And boys and girls, maybe you feel that way too. Maybe you feel a wee bit sad or a wee bit scared or nervous or confused. Maybe you're missing all your friends and you're missing going to school and you're missing going to all your clubs. We have been in the house for a very long time. So it's okay to feel sad or to feel scared or to feel confused about what's going on. I feel strange as well. Everybody feels a wee bit strange because it is a very, very, very strange time. But we are so lucky that we have our Bibles. And our Bibles can tell us stories about what it was like in Bible times and different people who went through things that are quite similar to us. You've maybe heard the word isolated and that's what we've had to do in our homes. But remember, Noah was isolated too. So that got me thinking, how did Noah get through it? How did Noah spend all that time in the boat and he was okay? I know. I think that how Noah got through it and what helped Noah being in that boat was that Noah knew he was never alone. Noah was able to be strong and to be brave and to be very, very patient, but that wasn't because of him. That was because God was with him. Noah wasn't a superhero. He didn't have magic strength or magic powers or incredible patience. He was a normal man. But what made him different was that he was an ordinary man with an extraordinary friend. And he knew that whenever he felt sad or scared or confused or just a bit weird, he could go to God and he could talk to him. And he knew that God was with him every step of the way. And boys and girls, that applies to you too. Do you know that although you're all ordinary people, you all have an extraordinary friend? God will do the same for you. He will be your friend when you feel scared, when you feel sad. He's your friend when you feel happy and when you feel excited. And he's your friend when you feel confused or strange or a bit weird. If he could do it with Noah in the boat, he can do it with us in our houses. God will always be with you and that's what I want you guys to remember. You will always have a friend in God and you will never be alone, even in crazy times like this. It's okay if you feel those things, but remember that you can speak to God about them and he can help you through it. No matter what is happening, you always have a friend. So, before I go, I have a really exciting challenge for you guys. I am so excited about it. What I want you guys to do this week when you're in your homes is to imagine that you are on the boat. Imagine that you had to go with Noah 
and all those animals and you had to stay on a boat for that long. And I want you to draw a picture. I want you to draw a picture of the boat and I want you to put in your picture all the things that you would take with you if you were going on a boat for that long. So would you take your colouring pencils? Would you take your iPad? Would you take your football? Would you take your TV? What food would you eat when you were there? You're gonna be hungry for that long. What, draw what you would eat and what you would drink. Draw the people that you would take with you that you think would help you on the boat. Just draw everything that you would take if you were going on Noah's Ark at that crazy time. And what we want you to do is we want you to email those pictures to us. We want to see them. We miss seeing all your colourings in and all the different things that you're doing. We miss being with you guys. So if you get your mummies or daddies to take a picture of the drawing that you made and to send it to this email. Boys and girls, I'm so excited to see all of your pictures and I'm so glad that I got to be able to talk to you guys today. Um, I'm just gonna pray before we leave. God, we thank you that we are never alone. We thank you that in all times, you are our best friend and you're walking alongside us every step of the way. We thank you that even when we feel scared or sad or confused or strange, that you will always listen to us when we pray to you. You will always hear us and you will always help us through what we're going through. God, we thank you for all of the boys and girls who are able to listen in with us today. And we pray your blessing over them. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, thank you so, so much for listening. I am so excited to see all your pictures. Make sure you get your mummies and daddies to email them to us. And hopefully it won't be too long until I see you guys again. Bye.